Hey, what's up, peeps? Welcome back to my channel, JR here. Don't you hate it? You have a lot of devices lying around that still uses conventional old battery. Let me show you. You have your wireless mouse, aircon remote control, TV remote control, wireless keyboard. You think this one doesn't use battery? Yeah? Wireless keyboard uses battery one, okay? Mm? And now, the PLR resistance, the smart tech that every Malaysian should have. And when you use the smart tech, confirm, confirm, every single time when you pass a toll, pasti jalan, takkan jam. Betul tak? And for those that don't know, this one uses... Alamak, tak buka. Sekejap ah. Susahnya nak buka. And this uses 9 volt battery, this big ass old size. Now, how do you confirm ah, without knowing any knowledge ah, that ah, it is actually the battery's fault that your battery is dying and not the device's fault? Hmm? My dad ah, always ah, when he press the remote control when it's not functioning, ah, he just tap 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 and suddenly can work. So it's actually the battery's fault or the remote control's fault. Now here's one device that I bought from Shopee that will at least solve one of those problems. Hmm? And it is this battery tester device thingy which is from a brand called Anming and it is a model number BT16A the Pro. Well for start right there is actually a lot of other models in the Shopee market that I saw right but I finally chose this because number one it it has this slider thingy right so you can test a lot of various sizes of batteries I will show you guys later and also this one doesn't operate with battery so you guys can see right oh this is the labeling later I'll explain to you guys you guys can see right it doesn't require any battery at all to operate whereas there are some models that I saw on Shopee right it requires a battery to test for a battery doesn't that sounds weird and stupid it's okay it's okay so now this is the one that I bought and now I'm gonna do a little test as you guys can see behind me I have a lot of batteries with varying sizes and conditions most of them I actually don't know whether they are good or bad but some I know for example this one is from a smart tag so this one I know that this is in a good condition so I label it good and for some I think like, I think it's in a bad condition so I put bad but none of them I actually tested with this device I'm gonna test it with you guys today and now and let's go let's start with the small smaller one okay now uh, it is very actually simple to use uh. for first starters uh, you guys need to at least know the label behind here yes so it is 1.5 volt is for the smaller one AA triple A sorry triple A or AA which is the bigger size one it is 1.5 volt 9 volt is the big one which is this yes and there is no like that that's all uh, actually but ah uh, Weirdly, uh, this one actually fits lah. So I don't know whether will this can test or not because you see, it actually fits. But this one is actually 3 volt, 3.7 volt. But this one is not here. But now mind, we'll do a test later. So I'm going to put the screen here so you guys can know that the condition of each battery is right. And now let's start with the test. Okay, the test is actually very simple to use lah. Uh, it has a label here. But this one, th this thing is very stupid lah because it has the negative positive but then this one okay never mind lah. we all know that this side here is the negative this side is positive so with the proper labeling it should be no brainer and 1.28 1.27 which is according to the chart it should be a good condition which i think what i wrote here good okay correct so this one helps moving on next this is double a size Again, negative and positive, don't be confused. This is in a good condition, 1.4. And you guys can see the chart, maximum is 1.5 and it should be 1.28 and above and this is 1.4. Good, good battery but, oh, I put it bad. Ah, see, without this device, I wouldn't know that this is a good battery because I put it in, I don't know which device, right? And it doesn't work, so I thought that it is the device's, no, it is the battery's fault. So I throw away this battery and replace it with a new one and it actually works. I don't know, I don't know, I don't know how it works. Lah. What I want to say is, if it's not for this device, let me just double test again, right? If it's not for this device, I wouldn't know that this battery is actually a good battery that I can actually use it for another device. So yeah, this is actually helpful. Moving on to uh, another AA battery, double A. And we test it, this one should be the bad one, and it is a bad one, okay, yep, it is a bad one. Uh. It should be above 1.28, and this is, wow, this is jumping all around, okay, so this is a bad one, good, okay, so I know this is a bad one, and this one is from my smart tag, so I know that this is good. Okay, now, you cannot, you cannot plug it here, 
there is another slot here for 9 volt big ass battery like this right you should plug it here but now if you are i mean if you're like me lah not smart right you don't know you don't know which side to put right there is actually a a nip here okay i don't know if you guys can see right there is a nip here right so it's actually foolproof that you if you put it the wrong way it won't read one you only can put it the right way like this and it is reading there you go 8.6 plus something something so according to the chart here it is actually a good battery nice so at least i won't cause a congestion in the smart tech lane lah. so now moving on with this it is okay again foolproof plug it in and oh my gosh four point something confirm rosa if i use this battery to pass the smart lane tag mm -hmm. okay bad so i know this is bad moving on is ah now this one is a very small battery for the car key yes this is a car key battery which i bought extra and i know that this one is not used it's brand new as you guys can see i put it in the back right and surprisingly right this device should be able because of the sliding mechanism right it should be able to at least test whether this battery is good or no good um positive this side is positive okay so positive and the result is 2.77 okay now you can see right the chart is not showing this size battery capacity and also from the back again it doesn't show the 3 volt battery because this is wait this is 3 volt right ah yes this is 3 volt yeah can you guys see this is 3 volt battery so according to the chart right it doesn't show the condition of the battery 3 volt whether this is a good number or not but from my understanding if you guys can see again the chart right anything that is close to the actual battery capacity voltage is a good number so for example this is 3 volt right so anything that the number that is close to 3 volt which i assume this is quite close to 3 volt this is a good battery and of course i know that this is a good battery because i have not used it anyway so yeah that's my assumption lah. i don't know whether correct or not lah. at least it's tested and then can now moving on to this battery now this battery right so big right is bigger than the double a right comes from where you might ask actually this one comes from wait ah comes from this portable fan thingy that i bought from diy for don't know for how god knows long when right so you guys can see the battery is so big and it is actually a rechargeable battery and plug it in and it works okay oh it's a very big fan it works and that's why i say it is good here because i know that it works so with that said let's test it with this device again because of the slider thing again right it's so convenient so i think this one can work lah. let me just positive is this side okay positive is this side and we shall test with the capacity oh four volts oh my god what how is it four volts because this battery it says here it is 3.7 hmm confusing but then again i'm not complaining at least this device showed me that it has four volts which i don't know why and also it works with the fan so i know this is a good battery so i think that's about it right i almost forgot to show you guys this battery now this battery is here there is a reason because right this particular battery you cannot wait let me just focus you cannot test it with this device why because right as you guys let me just focus as you guys can see right this battery doesn't have a nut there is it's all flat surface on both sides whereas for this you guys can see there is a nut here because the nut actually helps to detect on the base here because this base is flat so you need the nut to actually touch contact with the thing and in order for it to work and wait like so yes right and because of that right this battery doesn't have a nub so you cannot come in contact with this flat surface flat surface and flat surface um cannot lah i think lah logically speaking lah yeah cannot and i also put oh yeah sorry yeah. <laughs> positive is this side let me just do that again and no i cannot laugh logically speaking cannot laugh because it doesn't come in contact with the metal part thingy right so yeah just one note right if your battery is this kind of a size thingy with no nub right it won't work with this thing but right weirdly it is for this fan as well and because it has this spring mechanism thingy right so it's actually working 
so yeah lah that, that's some weird quirk i also just realized while looking for battery like this right and then i noticed that oh yes there is a difference so yeah that's a bit of a tip for you guys and there you go with that i hope you guys have a little insight of how important it is to have at least one of this kind of a battery device tester thingy at home to at least at least save some people's time by not hogging the smart lane tag with your faulty battery which actually you knowingly is your fault for not replacing the battery with this now you have no excuse please everyone buy five put it at home so no more excuses mm -hmm. if you guys are interested i'm going to put the links down below and thanks you guys so much for watching i'll see you guys in my next